right, so uh, I got my hands on Pikey client v3. Uh, this is still the beta, so there's still gonna be like some like issues and bugs. Uh, oops. So I don't expect it to be like super good, but um, I mean it's Pikey client v3, and they're finally back after being discontinued. Yeah, here's the new speed uh, that I made myself. It's really fast. Doesn't use desync or anything like that. Uh, I'll just demonstrate it really quick on this guy. What? <laughs> bro, what is bro doing? Oh, damn. I'll show you the tower too, because the tower on five clients is a little better than Vector's tower. Scaffold though, they, their scaffold still needs some work. And like, what I noticed with Pika V3 is, I mean, it's a good client overall, but like, it does kick. Uh more than vector client oh uh, this is what the ui looks like um or the gui i'm gonna call it they have a pre-fly show that off quickly oh or just like perfectly well but you can't use it in like actual games but yeah this is their ui um cool thing is is like uh you can you can like customize these colors here. You can't do that with Vector Client. And it does look pretty sick to be honest. And you can get Bloom too. Um, what I noticed as well with Pike Client is the performance of this client. Uh, is a lot better for like low end PCs. Compared to like Vector Client. Because Vector Client, it's like way too laggy bro. Like your frames will like literally have an aneurysm. But Pike Client, I feel like they're um... The whole like base code is like a little more optimized. Oh, this guy's also cheating, but he has better armor than me. Oh, I won. What is bro doing? <laughs> Alright, um, this is like my speed as I said, and this is what it looks like. It's actually really fast. Um, yeah, sir. Alright, I'll show you, uh, there's another speed module I'll show. Alright, this is what it looks like, by the way, like the, um, like the speed settings. There's like four different settings right now. This is like the hold on, let me let me show you this better. So dumb. All right, so this is their speed and what it looks like. There's a semi strafe option for it. It looks like this. Like it's not like that bad. And like I do, I do notice that it kicks less, like just for the speed itself in vector. And of course, there's no like speed option. There's only timer option now. Um. This is the low one. There's like a little bit of a difference. Uh, I don't know. Cool thing is they added damage boost. Um, they didn't have that in packet v2, I don't think. But yeah, they also have a long jump. Um, which this is gonna probably flag a lot. Bro, I'm actually an idiot. What? All right, let's try the um the pre lobby fly. Yes sir, yes sir. It actually works. I think this is really cool because like usually if you want um a bypassing pre game fly, what you would need to do is you would need to uh make your fly glide. So that means you would have to go like down, like a few blocks to actually start playing the lo the pre game. Also, packet v3 supports um, 1.20.10. Uh, That's the version I'm on. And also 1.20.15. Uh, That's so weird. It breaks the block up. What the flip? Oh, man. Packet client. They're trying to be different. Oh 
I need to adjust my speed. I kind of adjust so we're good. You like I kicked too many times. It sucks, but I'm sure Pack will wear uh, days. I'm sure he would fix that. I don't know if it's just him working on the client though. So I don't know how long that'll take. Alright, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, and subscribe, and leave a like again. Alright, if you guys uh, also, if you guys want to download the um, if you guys want to download the client, the uh, this cursor is gonna be in the link uh, in the description below. So go check that out. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. <laughs>